It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Let's get out of here. I. Hey everyone, it's Brother Aaron from God a Minute. Here's another really fun study to present to you. Now you might have heard of this from Chuck Missler, but there's a couple corrections that needs to be had. It's still the same message. Uh, everything points to Christ. It's just an incredible thing. This is just more than a faith builder, that when you see this kind of stuff and you see the patterns, you see the Bible codes, you're like, man, of course there's a God. Of course he, he made this. He, he made this world and he made this word and everything points to Christ. So let me give you the rundown here. Um, I'm, I've got an interlinear Hebrew Bible. People always ask me every single time I mention this. It's the Hebrew English interlinear Bible. I don't know where you should buy it. I bought it online. Uh, very helpful to understand the basics of Hebrew. So everything points to Christ. The first five books of the Bible, it's called the Torah. We've got Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, third book. Numbers is the fourth book. Deuteronomy is the fifth book. And that's the Torah. The Torah, if you want to find it, it's H8451, which means the law. And um, Moses wrote that. And then we've got another word that we want to look at is Yahweh, which is another word for Lord. And here's Yahweh right here. And the Bible codes points us to Yahweh. So we've got codes of Torah and Genesis, codes of Torah and Exodus, codes of Torah and Numbers, codes in Deuteronomy, which I'm going to show you. But it all points to Yahweh. And what does Yahweh mean? We have behold the hand and behold the nail. And so in his name, Yahweh means Yeshua, which means Christ, which means Jesus. Behold the hand, behold the nail. Everything points to Christ. The Torah points to Christ. Christ fulfilled the law perfectly. He fulfilled the Torah perfectly. And it's by his blood that we are saved. And we are just going to go on a little journey here. So we've got Genesis. We've got an equal distance step of Torah. Torah, the letters for Torah in Hebrew. Hebrew, is you can read it right to left. And it's Tav, Vav, Resh, and a He. And again, Torah, it's Tav, um, Vav, Resh, He. In Genesis, we'll see the code that it, it's written properly in Genesis in terms of writing, you're first going to see a Torah, then a Vav, then a Resh, then a He. In Exodus, same thing in chapter 1, right at the beginning. Tav, Resh, sorry, Tav, Vav, Resh, He. In Numbers, you get the opposite pattern. You've got, um, what you have is a, it's a He, then it's a Resh, and it's a Bob and a Tav in the order from Numbers chapter 1. And the same thing in chapters 1. We'll see the Hay first, then we'll see the Resh, then we'll see the Vav, then we'll see the Torah, the Tav. The difference, uh, what Chuck Musser didn't explain about this, is it's actually there's there's 50 steps, and then you count again from the next letter in Genesis and Exodus and Numbers. But in Deuteronomy, it's a 49-step count. But there's an extra, very special extra thing in Deuteronomy, which makes this whole thing just even that much more exciting. So let's get into the codes now. And uh, I know a lot of people don't know Hebrew. I know this is going to confuse some people, but we're just going to try our best. I'm just going to keep on explaining this until the cows come home, so to speak. You know, <laughs> I just keep on hammering the point until we get it. I don't know what the stat is, but we need to hear things more than once uh, to understand something and to learn something. We got to be really repetitive. So I'm just going to be uh, keep on being repetitive about all this stuff. So what I've done is I've highlighted the word Torah in the red here. And uh, so we've got our first, we got our Tav here. Okay. So in the beginning, Barashit. So there's your Tav. If you count 50, you're going to end up with the Vav. That's the next letter in the word Torah. Then if you count 50, and then after the 50 is complete, we have a Resh. And then after the 50 is complete, we have a He. So you can take a screenshot of that. I'll just freeze the screen here just for a second. And if you'd like to take a screenshot, you can. Okay, so then we're going to go to Exodus. We'll show you the same thing. Man, I sat here all day doing, like, for hours, just trying to make sure I was talking about the right thing here. So here we are in Exodus, and we've got a very similar thing here. So, again, uh, Exodus chapter 1, we got a Tav. You count 50 steps. Then after the 50, you've got a Vav. And then you count 50 steps in Hebrew, you've got a Resh. It's, and then you count... 50 complete steps, and after the 50, you've got a hey. So you got Torah, 50 steps count in Genesis and Exodus. We're going to skip Leviticus, and we're going to go over to um, go over to Numbers because Leviticus is a different pattern. 
So I just want to stay consistent here. And so now what we're going to see is uh, Torah backwards. We're going to see the hay first. And then you're going to count a total of 50. Uh, and then you're going to get the resh. And then you're going to count a total of 50. And then you get the vav. Then you're going to count a total of 50. And you're going to get the tav. I'll keep the screen frozen for a second so you can count that if you want. Okay, and then we'll go to Deuteronomy. And here's the one that's 49 letter skip. So um, I will center the screen here. All right, so here's our, our Tav and our Bob and our Resh and our Hay. So if you go that way, you're going to get 49 skip. Uh, I'll let you do the counting if you want. I, I did this a lot, uh, but that is a 49 letter skip. Here is the, the, the fascinating thing about Deuteronomy. And it's like, at first it's kind of like, oh man, that's a bummer that it's not a 50 letter skip. But it's quite not, uh, it's actually very exciting because, okay, first of all, it's sandwiched with an Aleph, Aleph Tav and a Tav. So after the count is done, it ends with a Tav and it starts with a Tav. And a Tav represents the cross and an Aleph Tav represents Christ. Because Christ says, I am the beginning and the end. I am the Aleph and the Tav. And so we, it starts off with an Aleph Tav and it ends with a Tav. It's sandwiched with a Tav and a Tav. Isn't that incredible? Uh, but here's the extra icing on the cake. The first mention of Torah is right here, right when the count starts. So it's, you see how it says the law here? Well, the, the Torah is the law. And so this 49 equal a distant skipping starts with the word Torah. So the word Torah backwards, hey, resh, vav, top, starts with it saying the law, which is the Torah. Here is, here it is. It's, it's tav, uh, tav, vav, resh, hey. And that's when it starts. So it's, it's sandwiched with uh, a tav and a tav, aleph tav, pointing to Christ. So we've got Deuteronomy, we've got uh, numbers pointing to um, to it all, right? We've got the, we've got the hey in numbers, we got the resh, we got the vav, we got the the tav. Okay, that's that's fifty skips. But let's go to the center now. So let's go to Leviticus, and um, here's the center of it. So this doesn't say Torah, but Genesis and Exodus are pointing to Leviticus and numbers in deuteronomy are pointing backwards to leviticus so what's the pattern what do we expect to see in the book of leviticus we got a, a an awesome thing here and we know it's yod hey vav hey right yod hey vav hey is yehovah or yahweh and it's a yod and then if you count eight steps from that if you count that as one one two three four five six seven eight this is not a uh, a letter this is just a dash thing Okay, so eight, and then you count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you got your hey. So you got your yod, hey, um, vav, hey. Isn't that beautiful? In addition to this, all pointing to Christ, behold the hand, behold the nail, behold Yahweh, behold our salvation. We have the first word, the third word, the fifth word, and the seventh word. So every other word has the pattern in it. That's another additional thing that you can't even make up. So you got uh, word one, word three, word five, word seven. And that's eight uh, letter skip there. So so if I get my chart back here and I, and I show you again, and you guys can go back and do screenshots if you'd like, and just do all the counting. I spent like three hours today doing all the counting probably. But what we have here is Genesis, the word Torah, which represents the law, facing correctly towards Leviticus. Then we have Exodus, 50 step spelling out Torah in, in the language pointing to Christ, pointing to Yahweh. Then we've got numbers backwards pointing to Yahweh. Then we got Deuteronomy, pointing backwards with not 50 like the other ones, but 49 letter skip. But this one starts with the word Torah when it's giving us the word Torah in Deuteronomy. And it all points to Christ on the, the first and the third and the fifth and the seventh uh, word. Again, seven words 
7,000 year plan. Yahweh's in the middle of that phrase in the fifth word. And it's uh, behold the hand, behold the nail. So, folks, listen. Listen to me. Yeshua, which means salvation, died on the cross for your sins and for my sins. None of us are perfect. No, not one. God showed us and proved to us that he is God and that he is capable of writing logic in the text and hiding biblical codes in the Torah. This is not an accident. A human being couldn't have done this. There is no possible way for there to be all the logic in the text that we read and have this biblical code. This had to have been the work of God. I pray that you believe in the salvation of Yeshua on the cross, because he's coming soon. We are one day closer, seeing the clouds. Go, Yeshua, go. Ha!